You've probably heard that eating meat is bad for the environment, but what does that mean? Hi, I'm Marian Swain, a senior conservation analyst at the Breakthrough Institute and author of our new essay, The Future of Meat. Here are five main facts from our research that are key to understanding why meat production matters for the health and future of our planet. A quarter of the world's land area is pasture for livestock raising, and a third of global cropland is used for livestock feed. In important conservation regions, like the Amazon, pasture expansion is a key driver of deforestation. A lot of people argue that we could solve our problems by eliminating meat entirely, becoming vegetarian or vegan. That makes sense, but unfortunately hasn't proven very popular. In the US, for example, only about 3 to 5% of the population identifies as vegetarian, and that rate hasn't changed a lot in the last two decades. One study even found that two-thirds of those who identify as vegetarian also reported eating meat in the last day. A pattern we see across nearly all developing countries is that as people's incomes start to rise, they also increase their meat consumption. As food historian Rachel Lawden explains, for many around the world, meat eating is not just a matter of taste or the environment, it's a foothold. It's a stake in the rich, modern world. These last two points tell us at Breakthrough something very important. Global meat consumption is likely going up for several decades. Given that reality, how can we then reduce the environmental impact of global meat production? A lot of us intuitively think that grass-fed beef is necessarily better for the environment than conventional grain-fed beef. And in general, more intensive livestock production is often cast as an environmental villain. But in the U.S., finishing cattle on grain can actually offer big environmental savings. Feeding cattle grain helps them grow faster and reduces the amount of time that cows spend belching out methane, which is the key source of greenhouse gas emissions. One pound of feedlot finished beef produces a third less greenhouse gas emissions than one pound of grass finished beef. Feedlot finishing also reduces the total amount of land needed to produce beef, even when you include the cropland area to grow the grain. Even though beef production has the biggest environmental footprint, it's actually not the most popular type of meat. That's good news for the environment, since both pork and chicken have lower emissions and land needs than beef. You can learn more about these facts and other cool stuff like cultured in vitro meat in my full essay at our website, www.thebreakthrough.org.